Hi everyone, my name is Coleman Mason and today I'm going to be showing you a pretty exciting tutorial here inside of Adobe After Effects on how to create window fire uh, realistically uh, with the camera actually moving. So currently I am um, out of the state because of Hurricane Irma um, so I took the, took a little bit of time off. It definitely delayed some of my um, commercial projects lined up but I thought I'd take the time um, and create this video and if you guys like this and you want me to continue to do more um, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below and uh, I'll definitely try to keep you updated on um, some new things I learn and uh, uh, be more than happy to go ahead and share that with you um, but without further ado let's go ahead and get started here uh, so this is pretty much what we're trying to accomplish What we went ahead and saw from that is we have um, obviously fire, uh, but the most important thing to do when um, either watching a tutorial or just watching something uh, in the theaters or wherever it may be um, and, and trying to replicate that is figuring out the, the steps involved um, in, in creating a five second shot um, so basically what we have going on is obviously we have fire um, we have a little bit of amber uh, up in here obviously smoke but also we can see we have um, some kind of a grunge texture of um, kind of the the burn mark here and what else do we have okay so we have um, sparks falling and then bouncing off of the concrete and then we also notice here we have a little bit of um, lens dirt uh, from the lens not being cleaned properly, um, which I did add so the lens was clean when we shot this. But um, as you can see, there's definitely a lot of um, steps and, 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 uh, and assets going into this to create this shot. Ideally, you're really going to want to um, to shoot for post-editing. And what I mean by that is... Um, if we're doing some kind of fire scene, uh, this looks like we, we did this during the daytime, so shining a light or something at the window source, putting a, maybe a, um, a red or an orange gel over the light to kind of cast a, a orange kind of shadow here would be ideal, or inside of this actual garage have light flickering. Any kind of realism we can do and have in the shot during the actual production will definitely benefit the the editor when it's his turn to go in and edit something um, but since I don't have any of my camera equipment other than just a DSLR I decided to go ahead and uh, just shoot a clean plate which looks like this and uh, we scrub through this this was the So yeah, that was the original footage. Nothing too exciting until we add all, all this neat elements over top of it. Um, but that goes to show, guys, um, you know, anything's definitely possible with film. I mean, odds are endless. Pick up a camera, whatever it may be, a phone, um, a DSLR, or a Sony FS7, or your Alexa, Red Epic, whatever it is, whatever you have to shoot with, go ahead and shoot with it. And you can create some really cool content, at least for practice. I mean, this is 1080p. Um, most things that we shoot are 4, 4K or higher. But, I mean, this definitely is it's good practice. And anything that you watch on online anyway is compressed to, to 1080p as of now. We create a new composition layer. Um, so here's our, our new composition. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is track this window. And we're going to go ahead and position our um, track motion to here. We're going to hit the rotation, the scale. So that way when it moves, it kind of follows um, the, the rotation and, and scale. So that when we put our fire on here, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to match. Um, so let's hit edit target. Make sure it's on fire window, window fire. Hit um, play. Boom, make sure that X and Y axes are turned on, and these are all the, 
the keyframes and the tracking points that it made. So the window was up here, so it's definitely very shaky. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, copy, or not copy, um, highlight all of our um, keyframes. And let's position the, the window fire accordingly. And uh, let's see if we did a good job here. So that's not that's not bad actually. It looks pretty good. Um, we can go ahead and zoom in here. No, notice that it's a little bit off. So we can kind of fix that up. Um, looks like the window it's not following the window as well. So we can rotate um, rotate this maybe about there and. yeah I mean that that honestly does not look bad um so let's go ahead and look at this all right so so far that's all we did was add fire so we can look at this and you guys are going to say well that doesn't look it doesn't look realistic. Yeah, it follows the window, but it doesn't look realistic. And we go back here, and we can really see see the difference. And that's just because we've added so much uh, layers and layers over top of, of things to really create, um, create the realism here. So if we look back here to here, I mean, that doesn't, doesn't look anywhere close. So what, the first thing we did here is under the uh, window fire... Um, so we created a glow. So I'm gonna copy this glow, and wow, look how look how much how much that changed. So before I add that on here, let me show you how I did that. So I went over to our effects and presets. I typed in glow. Okay. So I put the glow over top here, and oh my gosh, that absolutely does not look good. So. That's why I copied this one in here, and you can kind of go through here and see um, what my my um, edits were to it. Um, I changed this to A and B colors. I changed the threshold to around 30%. The glow radius to 366. The glow intensity to 21, and I changed this to behind, and I edited the color a little bit to 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 make this look a little bit better. Um, so it's already looking a whole lot better. But again, what are we missing here? Uh, what what's something that that fire has? And what that is is um, some sparks, also known as some um, like amber. And let's see, let's scale this down. This is all 4K um, assets, so I'm I'm working here with 1080p, so I have to scale everything down. Um, but we can see here. Okay, let's scale this up. What we're going to want to do um, is uh, what I just did there is I just copied the glow there as well um, so you can see a little bit better. But what we're going to want to do is the exact same thing as before. Um, make sure it follows the window. So since we already did it before, let's go ahead and copy and paste our um, keyframes. And now we have a little bit of amber um, and some sparks flying around in there. But since it looks so small, we want to definitely scale this up um, a lot more. So now let's go ahead and move it. The thing with film, we, we like to think, make things a lot more exaggerant. I don't know if you've seen any kind of action movies where they're shooting guns and muzzle flashes are absolutely huge compared to, to real life shooting it. But that's what we like to do. It looks cooler. Next thing I want to do is add a burn effect. Um, so I just, you can go online and look up uh, um, some some burn textures but it's pretty much what I ended up deciding 
Um, there's again, there's no right way um, to to do things. So you can you can have it anywhere really in any kind of texture. But this is the one I did decide to. Thought it looked kind of neat. So what we're gonna want to do now is. And let's turn this back on. And then let's change this to subtract. Boom. Okay. So then also, let's change this maybe to overlay. Soft overlay. Let's change it to light. Okay, that doesn't work. Let's change the screen. So none of those look great. <laughs> well, that one's not bad, I guess. So yeah, I mean, I guess you're gonna have to play around with this, you know. However, looks best. We're gonna feather this out, um, so it's not so harsh, um, harsh of a line in, in here. So let's feather this out a little bit. Um, and same thing with up here. Let's go ahead and create another mask. Oops. Go ahead and create a, another mask. And change this to subtract as well. Get rid of that feather this a little bit, maybe a little bit more, this is kind of a little bit creeping up on there, copy and paste what we had here, um, so let's click on transform, paste, and let's copy all these, whoops, and boom, Tweak this again. All right, so now now that's tracking on there. So it's starting to get there. This kind of looks weird sitting over top um, like that. So what we'll do is we'll put that underneath the fire. So boom, it's underneath there now. And again, we're gonna want to copy and paste. And let's scale this up. And position this. Okay, so now we have some smoke going on here. I'm rendering this back in full quality, so that's why it's kind of taking a little bit longer. Um, but you can change this to half third quarter, however, works best you know, for you to edit like this. So the next thing we're going to want to do is go to layer new solid. Let's change this to to a color like this, um, and then go in here and we're gonna make our make our little bit of glow this fire likes to put off some light turn this back on feather this like crazy there's our light so kind of tweak this a little bit it's a little yellowish, so we're going to go ahead to our solid settings and kind of make this a little, a little less. So, as you can see, it didn't do a whole lot of difference, but it did enough. So, that's the thing. Even though it doesn't look like much, but it really does help. So, we're going to want to go to our transform. Click transform, paste all these on here um, under our scale scale it up and under position go ahead and move this back so now it's it's you know going with the window but what we're going to want to do since fire moves which means it flickers we're going to need to change the opacity a little bit so maybe it's at a hundred percent here we'll bring it down to like seven 
bring it back up to around 23, 33. We'll move it up more. And then what we'll do is what we just made. We'll go here, copy, paste, paste. We'll copy some more. We'll paste it. There's no no right way. It doesn't go from from high to low. Fire kind of fluctuates and flickers, however. So now what we want to want to do is um, let's go back here and what I did is I used the setting Lumetri color which we can go here uh, if you want to color correct everything here inside of um, After Effects you can do that um, or if you would like to export this into your editing choice or color grading um, choice like DaVinci Resolve uh, you can do that as well uh, but since we shot on a DSLR it's not like it's um, raw or S-log footage so it's somewhat saturated already but what we can do here is um, is mess around with uh, some of the settings to see what looks best I found um, this looked pretty good for our scene what I did was kind of tweaked a little bit here but I used um, the gold tobacco lastly what we're gonna wanna add um, well I guess in this one I did add a little bit of uh, of sparks flying on the ground so we can throw that in here landing sparks scale this down so these are all assets that I've started to collect um, and you know it's it's pretty easy to composite in, in into your footage um, but the biggest thing is is you want to start to collect um, a lot of different assets um, and it's especially when you're doing um, fast commercial work um, the turnaround time can be you know 30 days which is not a lot of time so if you have more assets and things like that you can composite quickly rather than actually creating this uh, 3D um, yourself you know the better so again let's paste oh, actually let's go back here let's copy all these again and let's just paste this on here And let's change the scale. So yeah, uh, I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I mean, as you see, there's there's a whole lot of steps that go into creating something realistically, um, and you're gonna have to really tweak this, but. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, um, and this is again the, the original footage, you can kind of see. So if you guys have any more questions or concerns, feel free to, um, either leave me a message or a comment in the description below. Um, here on the right is, um, some of my social media, so if you want to follow up with some of the things I've done, I just completed a commercial for one of the Acura dealerships. Um, located in Savannah, Georgia. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, you can go ahead and click the button to the left. Um, but I'm definitely doing more work um, and a lot, a lot of things to learn, a lot of things to do. Um, and again, like a lot of this turnaround time um, for commercial work or client work, whatever it may be, um, it's pretty fast. So you really gotta to to start learning, you know, as quickly as you can, um, and start building on on some of your collections of uh, effects and. Uh, and yeah, until next time, again, guys, my name is Coleman Mason.